catching is one of the most important things in cricket. If you don't take your catches, you don't win your matches. And it's very important that you keep your eye on your ball, unless you're a professional like me, where you can catch them with... Oh, well, <laughs> see, you gotta keep the eye on the ball. While indoors, there's no need to stop cricket practice. We can do some fielding drills, and I'm gonna show you some on Hogs Vlog. Guys, we could be in lockdown or you could be studying at home and just need a little bit of a break. There's no excuse why you can't use a small space like this and work on your fielding skills. Now I'm in my office, gym and little studio here and I'm in my bare feet as well because I'm indoors and I'm feeling relaxed at home. So let's call this the bare fit, uh, barefoot fielding drills. Okay, let's go through a few techniques. If we're in slips or short cover, the only difference is we're walking in in the covers uh, but at the point of contact where the batsman hits the ball, we want to be in a power position. We want to be able to get our hands in front of our body and give with the ball when it's coming to us in the air, uh, in the air because we want to have those soft hands. If we catch the ball where we can't move our elbows any further way back, we're going to have hard hands and it's hard to control. When we're in this power position, if it's to the right or to the left of us, we can move to catch the ball. See how my foot points to the direction where I'm moving. That gives me extra reach. If I've moved my foot out in such a way where I don't point it to that direction, but it's um, pointing back towards the batsman, I don't have as much reach and I can't cover more ground. So you wanna be a more dynamic fielder, you've gotta have that good footwork and you'll be more dangerous in the covers and the slips. There we go, nice and straight, giving with the ball, giving with the ball. Now I'm going to go to my right. See my foot? See how I get more reach with that foot going to my right. If I didn't move my foot, see how awkward that is to rotate your body and it's gonna hurt your back. This saves your back and gets more reach. I'm gonna to go to the left side now. Here we go to the left side, more reach. There we go. Total control with that foot going in that direction. Now, if it's a little bit further away, we can go with the one hand. Look how much stretch I've got here and the further uh, area I am covering. Now that we've done those exercises, we can have exercises, one-handed exercises, where we're working on soft hands and watching the ball all the way into that left hand first. So I'm on the left hand, I'm gonna make it awkward for myself. Go over to the right, go over to the right. See, I'm using that, moving that right foot and that's making it easier to control with the ball going across my body. And then to my left, if I get it out there, then to my left, I'm controlling it with the one hand. Just controlling it with the one hand to my left. Then you do the same with the right. So there are a couple of little drills that you can utilize in your house to improve your sharpness with your catching and become a better fielder. And try and be close to the wall. The only reason why I was further back was just to try and get my feet into the camera. And I probably got my foot, feet into the camera more than the head, which is a better thing for you, isn't it? Anyway, hope you enjoy what I'm doing. Hope those tips help. Enjoy your cricket, improve, and uh, keep your eye on the ball. And keep your eye on this little dot down here. And you know what happens. That just gives you a notification of when the next video comes out. Thanks for joining me. Stay safe. Enjoy your cricket.